This video was sponsored by Skillshare. In this video, time is the greatest enemy. I'm given a number of stock images and are totally free to turn them into whatever I want using Photoshop. But the catch is, I only have 60 minutes to complete the whole thing. This is our challenge. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Benny and welcome to the first actual video of 2021. It is crazy. As you might have noticed, things have changed around here. I am now located inside my headquarters all the way at the top of Benny Tower, the most epic building this earth has ever seen. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so and most importantly, click the bell right next to it to stay notified about new videos at all times. Today I'm doing another hour challenge again, which means I have to take some images and turn them into something legit within 60 minutes only. So I searched on Envato Elements for a while and these are the images I ended up with. It's not much, but I'm pretty sure I can do something pretty cool with these. Let's fire up Photoshop and get this thing rolling. Before I started, just by looking at the images, I already had a pretty clear idea in my mind and that's exactly what I went for. First off, obviously this is gonna be a space scene, so I first used the stars image as a background. To enhance that view, I used a brush to add a nice sort of haze or atmospheric depth to this empty void. That for sure made it look more interesting and after adjusting the color and amount slightly, I was deeply intensely satisfied. I was certain that the volcanic asteroid type planet was gonna be the centerpiece with all the other stuff kinda floating around it. I put it right in the middle of the composition, made the thing a whole lot darker using exposure and added a bluish filter to make it match the environment. In my scene, the light is already coming from above so obviously I needed to match that lighting condition on my planet. That's why I erased some darkness again and after realizing that was wasn't epic enough, I added some brighter lighting on top of it. However, the whole point of using this planet was the cool lava bulbs, which I just now destroyed. So I had to erase the darkening effect from those craters as well. I went over it pretty quickly since I only have 60 minutes to complete the whole bloody thing and that looked actually pretty nice. To make them glow and shine very nicely, I added some, well, glow to the bright areas. At this point I was already 8 minutes in, so I considered myself being perfectly on schedule. Wait a second, did you hear that? Me neither. Today's video was sponsored by Skillshare. Do you want to learn Photoshop too? Or video editing? Or, well, any other digital creation? Look no further because Skillshare has everything you need. It's an online learning community where you can take classes in a lot of different things like illustration, design, photography, video editing and a lot more. For Photoshop specifically, there is some solid stuff too like these two Photoshop classes made by Adobe certified instructor Daniel Scott himself. He covers a lot of very interesting topics and whether you are a beginner or already know some things about the software, either of these two classes will be a good fit. But of course, apart from these two, there are still tons of other cool stuff. There is also a new thing on Skillshare. You can now join live classes which give you real-time experiences as you connect with teachers and other members. I honestly think that's a great addition to their community. It's uh, very cool. Skillshare luckily isn't that expensive either. For less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, you've got yourself a premium membership. The first thousand people to use the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership to explore your creativity. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the hour challenge. So I was thinking, somehow I gotta make this more interesting because those little lava pools aren't nearly enough light to get like a nice and unique look. So I decided I wanted some very bright glowing rings like Saturn for absolutely no reason at all. Once I finished making a fabulous shape for the rings, I added some variety in color using exposure and then erased the area behind the planet. That looked pretty sweet, but it didn't quite pop enough. So first I added a simple outer glow to the layer itself and then I added a big ass glow on top of everything. That's what really made it uh, shine, literally. How 
However, these rings obviously would cast light onto the planet itself as well, so I erased some areas of the darkening layer again. Of course, this light should have been orange though, since the rings are orange as well. So on top of that, I added that orange color to spice it up. So far I only used like uh, 2 out of 12 images so I had to uh, hurry just a tiny little bit. I added my second planet and masked it out. I rotated and scaled down the planet to then move it around to find the right spot. Top right it was and I copied the bluish and darkened layer from the first planet to this one. Now since the light is still coming from above, this one also needed that same lighting. I erased some of the dark stuff on top and this time also at the bottom since now there's another bright light source. I made the bottom of the sphere a bit orange to indicate the light coming from the neon rings. Altogether that looked quite nice but the top needed some more brightening in my opinion so I did that as well. Then the next planet, for this one it's basically the same thing. I used the same mask again to cut it out from the background and guess what, I applied the same effects again. The darkening, bluish color, you name it. These lava spots were quite close to it though, so I kinda tried to have that light cast on this planet. That made it look like these two planets are colliding though, but to be very honest I didn't really care because I had bigger things to worry about, like the fact that I wanted to make a whole asteroid field later even though I had like 30 minutes left. Then the third planet, again I masked it out, and this one I put on top right there to even out the balance of the composition. Holy shit. It sounds so professional when I say it like that. Then I added some of the same effects and stuff to this one as well until it matched the rest. Finally, the last planet, the moon. I'm not even gonna say it, just watch. Wait, that you guys do here, right? What the hell? I'm sorry to interrupt again, but hereby I'm introducing Hue263, the weekly chapter in which I'm gonna show some of your work in my video. However, if you wanna join, the only condition is you have to use the color U code 263, which is the shade of purple you see pretty much everywhere now. The first one today was made by Visuals Optimist and this looks pretty sick. It also matches the theme of today's video, space. Then we have an edit from British and I think this looks rather realistic instead of artistic which I respect a lot. And finally, Shibato Arch with this one, also very cool stuff. These three pictures aren't technically U263, but I needed something to start with. From now on, if you want to be featured in the U segment, make sure to use the right color and tag hashtag U263 in your Instagram post. Hopefully I'll see you here next time. Right. After all the planets were in place and lit sort of correctly, I moved on to the next thing. An asteroid field. I thought how cool would it be if I move around these asteroids all over the place to create a very nice atmosphere filled with beautifully lit debris. Well, if you haven't guessed yet, very cool. The issue though, I had only 25 minutes left and I wanted to adjust the lighting on every single asteroid. That was gonna be tricky. Story of my life. I knew better, but I did it anyway. Once I had the first batch of asteroids in place, I made them a whole lot darker using exposure again. I then copied the same blue filter from the other stuff to this one as well. I kinda sort of used blend if to add some lighting, but since I rotated the whole thing, the light wasn't correct on the top half of the asteroid field. In other words, I had to go and adjust that manually. Asteroid by bloody asteroid. So far I was still sort of on schedule though, so I wasn't worrying too much about it. When the top light looked acceptable, I moved on to the orange lighting below, the rings, and this I obviously did have to do all manually because, well, it took a while, but the end result was very pleasing. Now that I had the right side complete, I moved on to the left side, indeed. I duplicated the whole freaking bunch of rocks and moved them all over the place. I removed some, I just had lighting, I did a lot. Basically just a whole lot of adjusting to make it look correct.
there you go. Now, with about 10 minutes to go, I figured there was still some time left to enhance the thing. I wanted some more glow because glow makes everything look better and I also added some glow around the edges of planets to give it a hazy look. Finally, I tried to make some sort of uh, flare thingy on top of these planets which looked uh, a bit interesting. And then to finish this whole thing, I added a camera raw filter. In there, I basically moved every single slider again until it looked cool. I ended up with a more purple-ish background, guess why that is, and overall the look and colors did actually change a bit in comparison with before I added the filter. I hit OK and with just a few minutes left on the clock I considered it finished. I'm not afraid to say that this is by far my favorite hour challenge result so far. This one worked out nicely. Actually when I was finished I was so happy with the result I made more. If you like them as well and for some reason want to hang them up your wall, you can. I sell them on this plate now, so check the link down below to purchase if you're interested of course. Then let's wrap it up for today. If you like this video make sure to leave a like and a comment about what you think of this video. By the way, constructive criticism is always appreciated. Then also consider subscribing if you enjoy my content and most importantly click the bell to stay notified about future videos. Then I hope I'll see you in my next video.